Types of neurons and how neurons associate with other neurons. We will look at three types of neurons and how they associate with each other. All three have the same structures arranged differently, therefore all can receive and transmit electrical impulses. In this image we see neurons inside the spinal cord and outside the spinal cord. Only the interneuron is found exclusively within the central nervous system. Sensory neurons have cell bodies outside the central nervous system, while motor neurons have cell bodies inside the central nervous system. Sensory neurons receive information and relay impulses toward the central nervous system, in this case the spinal cord. Sensory neurons have many dendrites that are sensitive to different stimuli. For example, those in your skin are sensitive to touch, pressure, heat, cold and pain. Those in the eye are sensitive to different wavelengths of light. The ear has sensory neurons with dendrites that respond to vibrations and the nose and tongue have sensory neurons whose dendrites are sensitive to chemicals. When such stimuli reach a threshold level, a nerve impulse is generated in the sensory neuron that relays this information to the central nervous system. The cell body of sensory neurons is located outside the central nervous system, while the axon terminal is located inside the central nervous system. Sensory neurons have long dendrites, and this is evident by the hatch marks here that show that the whole length of that dendrite can't actually fit on the page and we had to kind of cut it to make it fit. And sensory neurons also have short axons. This puts the cell body very close to the central nervous system. Here we see the dendrite circled in red and the axon circled in green. When sensory neurons form nerves, cell bodies cluster to form a ganglion near the central nervous system. In this image, what we see are two sensory neurons bundled together into a nerve. In reality, there'd be many more of them. We can see that right here, where the cell bodies are located, they take up more space, so we get kind of a bulge in the whole nerve. We call this bulge a ganglion. Back to our previous image. Interneurons are found only in the central nervous system, that is the brain and the spinal cord. They're stimulated by impulses from sensory neurons and other interneurons. They have short dendrites and short or long axons. In this image we see an interneuron and a part of another interneuron. And what this shows us is that more than one interneuron can interact with a uh, sensory neuron. Interneurons form an intermediate link in areas where there are many cross connections and a tremendous number of connections possible. And that would be in places like the spinal cord and the brain. Motor neurons transmit impulses away from the central nervous system to muscles and glands. They are stimulated by interneurons. Motor neurons have short dendrites and long axons. We can see how these three neurons work together when a reflex occurs. A stimulus such as a pinprick causes sensory receptors in the skin to generate nerve impulses that travel to the spinal cord. Interneurons relay signals to motor neurons and motor neurons convey nerve impulses from the spinal cord to a skeletal muscle which contracts the hand and pulls away. Simultaneously a nerve impulse traveling along another interneuron relays information about the stimulus up the spinal cord to the thinking part of our brain and we become conscious of the pain. That interneuron is not shown in this diagram. A reflex allows the body to make a quick response to a harmful stimulus before we're even consciously aware of the problem. So when we prick our finger, the impulse travels along the sensory neuron to the interneuron and the interneuron very quickly relays the information to the muscle so that we pull away. But at the same time, a much greater distance is covered with another interneuron transmitting the information from the sensory neuron up to the brain. So as a result, with a reflex, we would prick our finger and pull away before we were even conscious of the pain. So the sequence events might be prick our finger, pull away and say ouch. In this video we've looked at the three types of neurons and the relationship between them in a reflex arc. In our next video, we'll take a look at how the nerve impulse is actually transmitted.